On June 27, 2024, Via Rail held its official introduction of the new Siemens built fleet to southwestern Ontario. I had the opportunity to board Special Train 671 at Chatham Station and participate in the event as amateur media. Left, right. The crossing and track next to Chatham Station have been undergoing some well needed repairs recently, including the replacement of the barrier trigger button with a DTMF reader. This means conductors don't have to leave the cab, which is more important now because the Venture cab car has no door for crew. The event started in London, with the mayor and some local MPs riding as far as Glencoe before returning by bus. Here's 671 approaching Chatham Station to take the CK delegation to Windsor. Right now all of the uh, executives, guests, and reporters are here socializing at the platform. We're probably going to be here for a while. Right here you can see the air suspension pad, which is what keeps the train stable on uh, the bumpy Kingston sub, because goodness knows the uh, suspension on the HEP1 cars needs a bit of uh, TLC. Before we continue, the LEDs on the Venture Trains create a flickering bands effect with my camera, so if you're sensitive to flashing lights, please don't watch the rest of this video as I was unable to edit them out. Sorry. Everyone's boarding now. bit of a walk through through the economy seating now that uh, I have the go ahead. At some point later apparently I'm going to be allowed to go in the cab itself in the cat car which is very cool. Even the air suspension is having a hard time keeping up with uh, the Chatham subdivision. I appreciate the automatic doors here. So this is now car five. And then there is the, uh, well, that's me, hello. Um, but uh, that's the cab back there behind the reflective glass. Also, for all economy passengers, there is a water bottle refill free in car five. Let's walk back to uh, business section. Hopefully I'm audible over the uh, train noise. Now I note that the De the deliberate inclusion of the uh, locomotive at the front of the train so that uh, passengers in car 5 don't notice how bloody loud the horn is in there because it's right on top of the passenger seating area. That was fun. Just had a nasty bump there. Luggage racks up here. The luggage rack here, here, and larger stuff down here, and here as well. Seat markers are here with the handle instead of being far away on the windows there. The emergency exits on these uh, have these handles instead of breaking the glass. You don't actually have to break any glass whatsoever so you don't risk injury just trying to get out of a train. This is the business class. You can see there's two plus one seating instead of the two plus two and we still have the information boards where they make the important stuff. So. 
in the business car, there's also a private seating area so that you can have maybe a slightly more confidential meeting without everyone else overhearing. Doesn't look like there's a way to close it, but there's at least a barrier between the rest of the seating. And here we are at Windsor Walkable Station. Everyone's disembarking. And we've pulled up to uh, closer to the end of the tracks. Over here you can see 76 queuing up to go in about half an hour with all the uh, ancient HEP-1 and HEP-2 equipment with uh, P42DC number 910 in lead. For some reason we have a rubber chicken. Seems like we also have a couple drone operators taking footage over here. of this summer, all, all of southwestern Ontario will be served by Via Rail's new, state-of-the-art, accessible, eco-friendly trains. Via Rail has received more than half of its new trains, and we're on track to have all 32 trains in service by the end of next summer. First and foremost, first and foremost, the Via staff are absolutely world-class, and so is the service. Let's make no mistake about it, it is the people, and it is the staff at Via Rail that make the Via Rail experience so exceptional and so memorable. So let's give them another round of applause. Please. And Mario, you may not know, uh, but the city of Windsor, of course, is the auto capital of Canada and the automobility capital of Canada. You know, the roots in mobility actually go back quite some time, back to 1886, when we were the first community in Canada to have an electric streetcar system. And that system ended in and around 1938, and we were able to find one of those old streetcars that operated on the streets of Windsor, get that car, refurbish it, and we're putting it on our waterfront in a brand new beacon to celebrate the mobility history that we have as a community. Uh, and so when I think of 1938, and I think of 77 years age in some of these cars, we'll take one of those cars when you decommission them and put them in our, in our museum for sure uh, and celebrate the VA history that we have as a community. But we After the speeches, there was a question period for reporters and then a media tour with Arnaud Lacaz, which I will be posting separately. After that, I was called away to get on the On Express bus back to Chatham. <laughs> 